Hi everyone. My name is Francisco. Anyways, it's January 18th, 2021. <clears throat> and I came up with an idea. Hold on. Ah, oh, interruptions. It's not one, it's another. If it's not a fucking pimple on your lip, or near your fucking lip, it's just something else, you know? It's just so annoying. It gets tiring after a while. Like, what the fuck? Fucking punk-ass bitches. Like, fuck. I wish I just had some money so I could just pay someone to go, you know, so they could fucking clean my face. And clean my house, and... So I could afford a house. So they could clean my car. Like other rich motherfuckers do out there, you know? Like, fuck. <sighs> Sucks to be poor. Poor fucking bum. Miserable motherfucker. Just like any other bum. Hey, let the truth be told, right? Fuck it. Uh, what's the other thing I was going to say? Oh yeah, before I rudely interrupted... I wanted, you know, respectfully, of course, duh. But anyway, um, oh yeah, I thought about an idea that I think a lot of organizations out there are implementing and using, and basically, it's like a company, an organization that is that has a group of people and they they have a meeting, right? So they have a meeting, and whatever they discuss. It is being used, but in a different organization, in a completely different state. So, they're using all of you guys just to gather information. And if the other companies, the other company is coming up with great ideas then what they're doing is they're taking their ideas and regardless of what is discussed in the meeting, they're going with the other people's ideas and they're implementing those ideas. And the ideas that this organization has, they're implementing them in other organizations so people can, you know, come up with better ideas. And in a way, we're all working together. You know, so because a lot of people, they go to a meeting, they get disappointed when they're like, you know, their offer gets um, thrown off the table or whatever. Not really like that, but, you know, respectfully, they say like, well, we like your idea, but we're actually going with this approach. Because see, these uh, councilmen, uh, those that are in authority, are having private meetings that other employees are not knowing about and they're sharing that information and that's why they get paid more because they know that you know we're all doing this together for the greater good of humanity not for the greater good of someone's pockets see the difference <sighs> so for that reason i'm thinking that that's why you know, we have some great inventions out there and great businesses and why they're thriving and why they continue and will continue to thrive because, you know, no one's fucking around. People are getting shit done. Um, and yeah, like, it's pretty awesome. Like, I came up with a bunch of ideas, believe me. Um, but I also came up with another one and it's basically like, uh, it's for, because I seen like this property on Blue Sky and the 299 here in Shasta County. And basically it's like this. I can draw it out real quick. It's like this. So, okay. So. It, that that is how 
simple it is right there. Wait, where's the camera at? Okay, like that. And then there's another one. Just like it over here. Like that. And what it is, is so... So they can rest a propane tank or something like that. So, you know, like I've been sharing, it's either you go and buy something like that, and it's going to cost you a lot of money because it's made out of concrete, and someone has to fucking uh, ship it to your house or wherever the fuck you want it. So, what would be better? For you to buy that or for you to buy the mold? that Where you can just mix the concrete and pour it in yourself. And... The great thing about this is that you don't have to, you know, do it all fast. You can take your time. There's no rush, you know, because you can technically not pour it where it's leveled and you're not vibrating it. And so, like, it's like um, there's a lot of. Like, uh, it's not smooth and it's distorted. So when you pour the next batch of concrete, it will have something to grab onto, you know? And yeah, like I was just thinking about all that. And I think anyone in the world can do it. So yeah, like... You know, that's how simple it is, people. And I have other ideas uh, for molds and stuff. And, yeah, like, they can be used all over the place, everywhere. So, it's pretty awesome. It's very awesome. But I just wanted to share that with you guys because... All it is, is you know, that, that type of mold right there. And you can technically create that out of wood. And basically, they are uh, stands for... Um, for concrete. So, see this? And then the, when it's all said and done, you have Something
like this. And it's basically holding the tank. That's all it is. That's all it is. See, and you just level those together. And then pour the concrete. And even to this day, every time I go by there, there's a, there's a gate around this. There's a gate around it like this, you know? And that gate is just basically protecting it, but the tank is gone. What is what remains in that little in that little site is the concrete holder things, the co uh, concrete holder blocks, whatever they are, and like uh, I'm thinking that. We all can come up with stuff like that. Because I even see some, they're made out of like square. And then they make it where, you know, you can put a two by four and make it like a fence out of it in a gate or whatever. No, a fence, a fence. So there's a lot of ideas like that. So we have to come up with more molds and sell them like that. You know, because what would be easier for someone to carry home? You know, little pieces, of, like little weights of concrete or one humongous weight of concrete. You know, so that's why it's better to haul it home. Just mix a little bit, pour it in there. And you can just follow the instructions. Like for this bag, just use one gallon of, of um, water or... One water bottle, like a ga like a 16 ounce. So you're just mixing a little bit at a time. But if you can handle more, then you can mix like two bags and put two of these. Or three bags and put three of these and so on and so forth. You know, that, that, type, that sort of thing. That way, everyone... And I was thinking about even creating like a graph. So the graph will be like, okay, if you want your concrete for whatever amount of concrete then it will give you like three options or more options. But the first one will be like a super peanut butter paste. Then like a normal type of concrete mixture, which, which is in between a peanut butter paste and a super runny paste. And that would be the third one. The third one is the third, the, the third one is the runny concrete but not too much water where the concrete when it hardens where it will not be um strong you know so it will be strong and it will be able to um and it will be like equivalent to something that will be like uh super super um like in between and peanut butter consistency so there's not too much water where it's losing the adhesive the paste that adheres to itself they adheres the whole thing you know it's just like glue if you put glue, like two drops of glue in here and then try to use this liquid as a glue substance or paste it's not going to work and that is what i'm talking about when it when i'm talking about runny cement and these type of cements can be used for various projects. You see, so depending on what you're doing, it can give you recommendations. What what is it can give you re recommendations? The World Wide Web. When you search for for that in your own computer, your own device, your own cellular device, you'll be able to get all this information, and maybe even get like a video or two to quickly display and show you what it looks like and what it kind of should look like. Well, peanut butter. Everyone knows if you grab a fucking spoonful, it's not, if you turn it over or whatever, it's not going to fall. You know, the other, the scent, the middle one, the in between one will be more like oats. Um, and then the runny one would be like more like cereal where the, the water, the milk just rolls off the spoon when you twist it like that. So for these type of molds, since they are con 
find in plastic and the water can't go anywhere. Because I could leave this right here and that water will stay in there for for like a month or longer. It will stay it will stay in there for a long time, maybe even a whole year or longer. Right? Because that water is not going anywhere. So you can technically mix your concrete very, very runny when you're pouring it. And look at my nails. That's evidence I've been mixing concrete. You know? So anyway, once you pour it in here, that water can't go anywhere. And the cement is going to help uh, dry it out, that water. Because it's going to get warm during the day. It's going to absorb the heat. And the water will evaporate while the adhesive glue will stay there inside the plastic. So it will get trapped in a way. Which is a good thing. But anyway. Um, so yeah. Like I was thinking about all this stuff. You know. And I just wanted to like release it. I, I wanted to get it out of my mind. Like take it Lord. Take it Lord. Bless other people with it. Bless other people with it. Bless your people with this knowledge. Because. I didn't. I didn't think about it. You know, I kind of did, but God revealed it to me or some shit. Because everything I know was through, like, education, the education system. And everything I've been exposed to through the internet and the television. Well, I mean, I didn't just, like, wake up and know all this stuff. You know, I learned it along the way. So, like, I'm just sharing all this so we can all be on the same fucking page, the same fucking level. And... You know, so we can all be blessed. You know, it's either that or, you know, l allow a fucking company to fucking cheat you. Allow a company to charge you way more than what it would be for you to just do it yourself or to pay someone. You know what I mean? And that's the fucked up thing about it because we all know that when someone owns a business, they're making a lot of money. They're making killer money, you know? They're making, like, whoa, type of money. Like, you were able to afford that, bro. That's a nice house, nice pool, nice car, nice fucking whatever. You know, nice pool table. Nice fucking winery cellar. Nice fucking, you know, everything. Smart house, security system, the dogs. The fucking backyard fucking full of concrete with nice planters and landscaping, barbecue pits, the whole nine yards, you know, fucking go-karts, boats. You know, some people are so rich they don't even have any of those assets. They just rent everything as on the on the fucking go as they live every single day. Like must be fucking nice not to own shit. That's the way I'm going to do it. Shit. Because God, you can have it all. All I want is you. Well, I don't know what song that is. I just, I think I just came up with it. Anyways, so, you know, all of you can just go fuck yourselves. Ladies, go fucking finger yourselves. Men, go jack off. It's happy hour. I mean, what else do you motherfuckers want? What else do you guys want to hear? What the fuck? 